tyres are made of more than just rubber. They're what we call in the industry made of a compound, which is a complicated mix of different materials. Continental take this one step further. They have multiple different compounds across their product range, which differ for different applications. And they even have multiple compounds in one tyre, just like the Sport Contact 7. They spend millions in research and development of different compound technologies, including their high-tech filler, Chile Technologies. Now, there's different types for different performance requirements, so let's have a quick overview. Black Chili is designed for high-performance tyres, such as the Sport Contact 7s. Yellow Chili is designed for wear performance and used in long-lasting tyres, such as the Ultra Contact. Green Chili is designed for fuel efficiency and is found in the Eco range, such as the Eco Contact 6. There are so many questions out there about tyre compounds and whilst I know what they're like to drive on, I am not the expert when it comes to the science. So I'm going to pass you over to the expert, Steve. Well, thanks, Becca. My name's Steve and I'm actually Head of Technical Services for Continental Tyres. So our tyre compounds are incredibly complicated. We actually manufacture well over 10,000 prototypes each year, of which only one or two will actually be accepted to go into our fantastic tyres. In front of me here are a multitude of different types of chemicals and different types of rubbers. We have synthetic and we have natural rubbers. These are blended depending on what type of tyres they are. But also we have different types of chemicals and each of those chemicals does different things. So we can actually start, for instance, with carbon black. So why do we use carbon black? Well, obviously, carbon black is what makes a tyre black. But fundamentally, it has two really important properties. The first is it increases the compound strength, and that actually helps the tyre to keep its properties. The second important point is it helps with mileage. If you do not put carbon black inside tyres, they wear out really quickly. We also use other different types of fillers, that was one of them. This is the other, silica. Silica was introduced maybe about 20 years ago and actually bridged one of the real dilemmas we had in the tyre industry between mileage and wet grip. Silica actually enhances wet grip dramatically, but also it works incredibly well at low temperature and keeps the compound flexible when, as I say, you're down to well below 7 degrees in centigrade. We also have other tips and types of chemicals. We have what we call anti-ozonic chemicals, which actually ensure that the tyre doesn't start to crack in the sidewall in the tread. So it gives you, as I say, uh, a long life in the actual tyre itself. And we also have something called sulphur. Sulphur is really, really important because without sulphur, we can't actually vulcanise a tyre and actually convert a very poor performing compound into ultimately what we want to see when it's actually put on a vehicle and actually driven on the roads. So we actually get the different compounds to do different things. Here's a great illustration of that. If I drop these balls, you'll see that one will bounce higher than the other. And what it's actually showing here is that when the, the ball that actually doesn't bounce at all, it's absorbing all the energy, which generates lots of heat and produces the grip for the actual compound. The ball that actually bounces quite high is the one that's recovering all the energy and helps with what we call rolling resistance and helps when it comes to ensuring that you actually save fuel. Anyway, that's enough of the actual science. Let me just pass you now back to Becca. Thanks, Steve. Well, now we definitely know a lot more about what goes into the tyres. And if you want to find out even more, make sure you check the links in the description. I've definitely learnt something, but we hope you have too.